Hello, my friends, subscribers, and viewers. And if you're not subscribed, this is Gretchen, Possum Fun and Frugal. And I thought I would share a, another cooking video. Um, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with some more free produce that I got. Um, I did a video a while back about um, unboxing this cool little pan setup um, that I got. And I'll, I'm going to use that tonight um, and some of the free produce that I have and show you what I'm making for dinner. So keep watching. And I hope you enjoy the video and hit the like if you do. And again, if you're not subscribed, it would really help me if you subscribe to my channel. I have lots of really great videos, a whole variety of different things. So check out my channel. Let's get cooking. So here are the items that I'm going to be using. I have some carrots. I took these out and a couple fell out of the bag. So I have these carrots that I need to use up that I got uh, actually last week. So I'm trying to use up what I got from last week's food haul, free food. The food bank is giving away. These are actually um, fresh whole carrots from kind of a local farm, I guess, California. <laughs> Anyway, these are good carrots that are pretty expensive in the store. So, and I have some free broccoli. I had two and I have some leftover pieces that I used yesterday and I'm going to use these and this and a whole bag of Brussels sprouts, all of which I really love. And I have these little um, organic mushrooms that I had bought uh, a few days ago. And I have used about two thirds of them in two different recipes. Um, every once in a while I find them, they're already cut up, which is helpful for me because I have carpal tunnel. So if I don't have to cut it, it's the same price as the whole ones on sale, I get them. <laughs> so. And these are purchased with my food stamps. And I always look for all the deals and sales to even save on those. So I'll be cooking these up. And I have, I need to finish using up my liquid MCT um, coconut oil. And and then I'll show you the pan I'm going to use. I had found this pan at Macy's and it came with these silicone trays. So you can separate your foods. So I'm going to put a different veggie, something different in each of these trays. And then here's the real small ones. So I'll be right back to show you the rest of it. So this is, a, it just looks like it's a basic cookie sheet type uh, roasting pan. And you can fit <coughs> these trays right in the pan. And that way you can roast something different in each pan. And I really like this. So things come out really good. So let's put it together. So these are already washed from last night. So I'm just going to put them right into the tray. Okay, so I had to move some things around because I don't, I don't have a lot of space in my kitchen, so I have to make space for prepping like this. So we're going to cut up this broccoli. I just washed it. I'm going to 
put the rest of the broccoli, and cut it in smaller pieces. So I decided that the um, broccoli was going to take up too much space in the little one, so I moved it over to the bigger one. I have more broccoli than I thought I would have for the little tray, so, so I may not get all of the Brussels sprouts in. Okay. Looks like I'm only going to get a couple of carrots in. That's okay. The carrots stay. These will these will keep longer than the other veggies. So I really want to do these Brussels sprouts. So. They will go bad very quickly. I not get to do all of them, but I will always do more tomorrow. Yeah, they seem to be used up very quickly. Squeeze them in here. If you need another idea about Brussels sprouts, you can take these leaves and roast them and make little chips out of them. I've done that too. So that'll be another video. has a little bit of a bad spot. So I just try to cut the bad spots off. I had to cut the bad spots off of that one. That's okay. It was a very large. See, some of them are starting to turn. I just cut that part off and it's fine. So 
just a little overripe. Okay, so that's enough of those. Here's a little everything bagel. Some turmeric. Some nutritional yeast. And then we're going to put them in the oven. and let those roast. And we're gonna let those roast up in the oven. Yes, I know my oven is dirty. I don't have the physical ability to get in there and clean it. And I do try to wipe it out sometimes. I gotta clean my little window. <laughs> um, but there's something going on inside my window. I can't get to that. Check back in about 20 to 30 minutes. Okay, so our veggies are just about done roasting. But what am I going to eat them with? Well, I have a rice packet that I wanted to use up. actually not rice it's quinoa with olive oil garlic and olive oil quinoa and that will go perfect with the veggies on top and maybe a little sauce which I haven't decided what sauce to use so this is what they call 90 second microwave I guess it's for microwave um, I got these for camping because you can just throw them in the pot with a little um, water and cook it right up or whatever broth or something. As I was putting canned veggies and this together and making meals, really easy meals to make while you're camping. But I didn't use this one, so I want to use it up before it expires. So we're going to make it tonight with the veggies. So I'm going to put the rice into this dish. I don't like using plastic packaging in the microwave. Put this in here. tiny bit of water and put the lid on and we'll put it in for 90 seconds and now we'll get the veggies out and 
And there are our roasted veggies. We have broccoli and carrots, mushrooms, and Brussels sprouts. Now I think I think tonight we will just use some coconut aminos on top of the veggies and rice. And those, that is done. Now, Some of these on. And there is a veggie bowl. I'm just gonna and there's a nice delicious veggie dinner. <laughs> 